Hey guys, what's going on? It is uh, Saturday morning here, Saturday afternoon, 1220. Uh, it's going to be a big weekend here in Philadelphia and New Jersey. Uh, our football team is, looks like we're going to go to the Super Bowl. We got one win away. So if you guys are any kind of football fans and you watch that uh, San Fran game tomorrow and the Eagles... Man, be cheering our Eagles. Be cheering me on tomorrow, guys, for our Philadelphia Eagles. Because after that, it's Super Bowl time. So, um, New Jersey and the surrounding areas and Philadelphia must, I mean, it's mayhem. It is really mayhem around here, especially Philadelphia right now. They are going crazy. Crazy. So, it's a good time. It's, it's like a big party uh, atmosphere, uh, around here, um, especially Philadelphia, well, naturally, but, um, yeah, that's just a quick, uh, little quick thing with that, um, I wanted to do a comparison, quickly, a comparison on Northfield knives and Titty knives, GECs, um, yeah, so I just wanted to do a quick comparison, I got this uh, Northfield uh, one in yesterday. I didn't get a chance to show it or review it, but I want to show it to you guys now. Um, and I still have something else I want to say as far as the giveaway goes. Um, but you can see here that normally there is not much of a difference that you're going to get between the Northfield knives and the standard titty form. That's, that's, when you get a GEC in titty form, that is your basic configuration, right? That's your, that's your standard. There's no, uh, you don't get anything extra with the titty um, uh, knife, right? So then these Northfield knives, they just step up just a little bit. It's not much of a difference. Normally, you get that um, triple line bolsters there. That's a little bit more of a decorative touch. Uh, they're going to give you this long match strike pull. Uh, what else? Sometimes the blades are different. You get a satin blade or you get a, um, a different blade. The shields, you're going to get um, a little bit more of a decorative shield. This is the Hound's Tooth Shield. Um, now, this shield, they put on a lot of knives, this one. Um, so, you're going to get that. That's just your standard base uh, shield or your hot dog shield. Uh, just the, the, the line. Um, but you can see standard brass pins. You're going to get brass pins. You got the brass uh, lanyard hole. So, obviously, there's not much of a difference. Okay? Not much at all. Um, flip it on its side. You're going to get brass liners. Versus uh, just regular stainless. Which that makes no... I do like... Uh, um... Brass liners, I do like that. I think it. I think it's it, it's more attractive. It is more attractive. It adds just a little something. Uh, what else? Let's look at the blades down the blades. There's not much. I mean, they're pretty much exact all the way around. The wood sometimes or most of the time you're going to get an upgraded um, scale cover. This one is in wood, uh, rosewood. I forget. I can't mention. I can't forget the name of the wood. I'll show it to you on the tube. But I never heard of this wood. It's some kind of rosewood. But you again, you get the micarta on this one. Textured micarta, they call it. And there's that's it. I mean, there's not much. There is not much of a difference. And there normally isn't. From the Titty uh, to the Northfield. 
Normally, the only thing you're getting that's different is you're you're always going to get the um, the triple lined uh, bolsters versus the regular just standard bolster. You're going to get that. You're going to get um, this is uh, you can see the um, the uh, material is this is a. Uh, um, you could see the difference in the material. That's like a brass, and that's more like a matted finish. You can see it. Other than that, uh, basically, um, that's all the difference. That's all the difference on a lot of them, you know? So if you don't want to spend the extra money just to get these extra little uh, touches, then, you know, I wouldn't, I, I mean, I normally don't do it because I'm satisfied. All my knives are mostly titty in titty form, mostly all of them, because I don't have, once you go past titty uh then, it really becomes a whole different ball game. It gets much harder to get. The price really goes up. And it's just a, I mean, total madness. I got a couple of them. You know what I mean? But um, you really got to play the game. You really, really got to know how to play the game once you're stepping up into uh, the higher end GECs because they are they fetch a serious premium. I mean, they're just big hitters uh, that try and get those knives. I mean, um, you have to be very um, you have to know what you're doing. You really you have to know you got to be in it to know. Um, but I can tell you, they're not easy to get. They're not easy to get. Um, but yeah, that's just about it guys. And as far as the giveaway goes, I was going to do the giveaway, but I'm just not certain yet on how I want to do it. That's what's holding me back right now. I, I'm like going crazy because I don't know if I want to keep the whole thing a secret or not a secret. I don't want to show one thing, right? And if you win... You just, I'm just going to ship it out to you or just show you everything. And if you win, you win. Um, that's kind of where I'm leading. I don't think I'm going to uh, just keep it a secret. I don't think so. I don't know. Um, also, one last thing. Um, Gary from the last Ranger, um, he mentioned uh, before that um no he calls it turd lurkers turd burglars turd burglars or turd lurkers or whatever he called it if i don't recognize your name right um if i don't recognize your name i am going to re repick because i want someone uh to be quite honest with you, I want someone that that, that contributes uh, to my channel and that, that puts the time in, the comments, and the and th th that's that is deserving, well, well, well deserving. So there were a couple of times that I did a giveaway and I did not recognize the name at all. And I went ahead and did that giveaway, and, and I sent it out, and I was like, damn it, you know? I was like, you know, I wanted that to go to someone that's that comments on my channel a lot, you know? So, shout out to uh, Gary from The Last Rangers from um, uh, for doing that and getting that set up, because that's a fantastic idea, you know what I mean? If you, if you don't recognize the person, the name, I'm sorry. You know, it's just the way it goes. It's just the way it is. <clears throat> you know, you're going to come on here for two seconds just to do a giveaway. You don't care less about my me or my channel. 
So why why am I going to send you out all that stuff for no reason? You don't care about about nothing about my channel. But it is what it is, man. So I'll figure it out within a couple days or something. I'll be doing it the, the giveaway. Um, I don't even know what time I'm going to do the giveaway. I want to see. I'm just testing things. I want to see who sticks around to the end. Maybe I'll do the giveaway at the. I'll announce it at the very end of the video. You know. Like now, because I'll, I'll guarantee, I mean, probably 100% of the people or 90% of the people, there is nobody still watching this video right now. Everybody's long gone. All right. I think I did enough rambling, I guess. Um, you guys be good, be well, be safe. Let me know what you think about these uh, these knives here. Would you upgrade to the Northfield or uh, would you just stick to uh, the basic titty? I don't know. All right, guys. Be good. Be well. Be safe. I'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget, tomorrow, cheer my Philadelphia Eagles on. Okay? That's a big, big day. I don't even know if I'm going to be home. So I for Oh, I forgot all about that, man. Oh. RJ's live is tomorrow, and I think that that game is the same time RJ's live come on. The 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 game is on at three o'clock. Oh man, oh man, I might just have to uh pop, pop peek in every once in a while or something. Oh man, I didn't know forgot that. Huh. All right, uh, you guys, uh, be good, man. I'll talk to you uh, soon. Take care.